Well, of all the days for this to happen, it happens on the day we're celebrating our Thanksgiving. Yes, friends, my hole underneath my sink, the hot water started to leak. That's what you're hearing in the bucket. We had to have the drain completely, completely replumbed under there. I had to call a plumber. Well, when he got the drain all replumbed, for some odd reason, I don't know what happened, but the hot water um, connection cracked. So it was spewing water everywhere. That's my, how he replumbed under there. But anyway, my husband's working on that. Thank goodness he's home because I'd have a disaster. I've got my turkey in the oven. I managed to get that in there before everything happened. I was going to bring you through and show you how I was doing my turkey. And we were going to have a cooking day today, but that's not going to happen. So, into the pantry we go. What a day. In the meantime, there are a few things that I'm going to put together for the Thanksgiving Day. Now, because um, that happened under the sink, it kind of changed a lot of plans. Now, I have to, let's see cancel. I had my turkey on 400 for the first hour. Now I'm going to have it at 350 until it's done. Okay, back in the pantry. It kind of changed things. Like I was saying, when that um, underneath the sink went haywire, I was going to make some homemade pies and I was going to show you my homemade pies using my home canned apples and um, the pumpkin that I've got canned. But obviously that's not going to happen if I don't have, you know, my sink fixed. So my husband, when he went up to the hardware, he stopped and he got us a couple of already baked pies. So we got a pumpkin and an apple that's already made. I was going to do it homemade, but well, you know, some things just don't happen. I, I uh, was going to stuff my turkey, but because it's only a few of us eating today, I thought, you know what? I want I got a huge turkey, so I want to make other meals with it beside of, you know, just roast turkey. I'm going to do, I'm going to debone it, and, you know, I'll show you all that. But uh, I decided not to stuff it because I didn't want the stuffing mixed in with the meat when I debone it. So normally I do stuff it, but this time, no. Um, usually we have a whole lot of family, and there's never any turkey left over. But this time there's going to be a little bit of family and loads of turkey left over. So we're going to make other meals with it. And I'm going to show you that. Um, I am going to make stuffing, but it's not going to be my homemade like I would stuff the turkey with. I'm just going to use some stove top for that. I'm going to make real mashed potatoes. Um, hopefully the sink will be done by then. But it really changes everything. Um... By the way, I hope everybody did have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> ours will turn out nice. We're just going to have a few of our grandkids that are going to come over. Um, the rest of everybody is, you know, it's a typical day now. It's past Thanksgiving, so everybody's back to work and whatnot. I got my 300 pounds of chicken feed yesterday, so the chickens are all taken care of. And my buckets, the one that I thought was not working, it had just come unplugged a little bit, so enough to, you know, not make a connection. So I got that plugged in nice and tight. Everything's fixed out there. I should just have a regular chit-chat. Yesterday, I rode with my husband. He had to do two deliveries to Cadillac and Travers, and he asked me if I wanted to ride with him, and I thought, you know, that's, this would make a good video because then I could show you the life I lived for 12 years driving in the semi. But it was just way too dark because we left here at 2 o'clock in the morning and we were back here by, you know, by 9. So you missed a good majority of it. I couldn't do it in the dark. But one day I'll ride with him and we'll all go for a ride. And you'll see the kind of life that I lived for 12 years. Like I always tell you, trucking is not a career. It is literally a way of life. 
So, and a lot of you have asked about a trucker strike. Well, I'm going to fling in my little opinion here because it, that will never happen. There was a few people that did do a strike and a few of the truckers, you know, stopped their wheels, but nothing that would ever affect anything to us, so to speak. I think they're going to do another trucker strike in April. I think they're planning to do one. And that's just striking for a change in the hours of service and, you know, parking places and different things like that. It is really hard out there being a trucker because sometimes you have no place to park and you have to shut your truck down when your hours of service are over. Otherwise, you get a nice hefty ticket. And some places let you park on the side of the road. Some places will let you park in the way stations. But that's few and far between. And then now they're starting to charge you for parking. And it really is ridiculous. It's like my husband went in one day. He went into a TA down in Kentucky. And he had to park. He had to pay like, oh, what was it? Almost $15 to park overnight. Plus, his meal and everything he got was like $17. And if you're going to go into a truck stop and spend that kind of money, the last thing you want to do is pay to park. It's like they should give you that for free. But they don't. Nothing's for free out there. So, anyway, with that being said, enough of that rant. But, yeah, they're going to strike on that. And, and hopefully that will make a difference. I don't know. But I don't think so. There's too many people that out there, like my husband. My husband will never go on strike because he's got a truck that he has to pay for. And that truck payment is over $500 a week. If he stopped his tires, your expenses and your payments don't stop. You know, so it doesn't do you any good. You just, you can't afford to strike. So, and that's with a lot of them. So anyway, with that being said, there's, um... There's a, a whole discussion on that, but not today. Um, my husband's right now, he's up at the hardware, getting a new part, another part. I hope he gets everything he needs because our hardware here closes at noon. And then I don't know if, if I think you'd have to go into Manistee or up to Travers after that. And the hardware is only a couple blocks away, so... Hopefully he can get everything he needs before it closes. Um, he was laughing earlier. He took our little guy, our little grandson, Alaric. He took him down to get his hair cut. And at our local barber shop, she's got this cute little horse seat that's probably from the 1950s. And the first time my husband took him down there, he just loved it. And he, he had a ball getting his hair cut. I guess this time he took him in there and he had a meltdown. I, I don't know what happened, but he was not a happy little guy. So, but they managed to get his hair cut and it looks nice. But he, he just, he loves his papa. He's everywhere his papa goes, he goes with him. Um, when he was under the sink, fixing the sink, the little guy was <laughs> under there with him. And he's so small, he could about crawl underneath there. Um, we have a ball with our grandkids. They're, they're so fun. And you'll see Gus Gus here shortly. He may be coming today. I'm not sure. Um, you've seen Cece. You've seen all the others. It's just Gus Gus I haven't got on camera yet for my chit chats or anything. But he's probably about three months old now. There's my shelves in my bathroom that Tracy built for me. Aren't those nice? Holds a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Look at how my basil is growing. It's doing good. You know, this one over here, this little one started out the same size. They were both the same size when I planted them. I don't know why this one got stunted. Having a clue. But this one is just massive and I'm going to take some shoots off that and propagate it and I'm going to have quite a few of them so that I can sell some of them this spring along with the rest of my um, flats that I put together. So my pantry in here friends is like upside down and my grandkids were in here yesterday and they were um, putting together puzzles so they took my little tablecloth. 
My whole entire house is upside down just because of the sink. But we'll get it. Hopefully my husband can fix it and I don't have to call the plumber back again. I, I honestly think that maybe the plumber, when he cut underneath the sink to cut that pipe, I think he nicked that hot water line. And I think that's what started it. But I, I, I'm not going to, you know, call him back and complain about it. My husband can fix it. If he did, he didn't realize he did that. And uh, I am so grateful that he plumbed underneath that because I was so tired of, you know, just jerry-rigging everything under there. That makes me nuts. I want stuff done. I, I want it done right, you know. So anyway... There's my pies. Oh, that's sad, but you know what? They'll be all right. We got cool to go with them. I also wanted to make a pineapple and um, a little pineapple dessert. It's pineapple and coconut and nuts and maybe some fruit in there mixed up with a little cool whip. My family loves it. It's just a, a whip, whip together fruit dessert. My husband's coming back in. Oh. Please, Jesus, I hope you can fix that under there. That's just a nightmare. Um, so I wanted to make a couple of other things, too. But that's not going to happen. Hang on. Say hi. Say hi. Friends, this is our grandson, Alaric. Can you say hi? You've been helping Papa? He's camera shy. But he'll have a cookie. You want a cookie? Can you say cookie? Cookie! Yeah. Cookie, let me fix your sleeve. Did you go with Papa to the hardware, baby? You want a cookie? Cake. Cake? Say cookie. Cake. Cookie? Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, you got two cookies. That'll work. You're going to show our friends what you do with the cookies? What is it about kids and Oreo cookies? They always take them apart, they eat the inside, and then you find the cookie itself laying wherever they leave it. I get a kick out of that. You're going to eat your cookie, baby? Did you get your hair cut? Did Papa take you to get your hair cut? What you trying to do? You want to get down? You want to go see Papa? Yeah? No? Yeah? Can you wave and say hi? Can you wave and say hi? Okay. Oh, you can't have none of that candy. That's bubble gum. You can't have bubble gum. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that, Papa? Is that Papa? You can go help Papa with the sink. You want down? Go help Papa. There you go. Say goodbye. He's looking up there, but he can't see him. <laughs> he is so darn cute. He looks like my husband's mini me. You know how my my granddaughter Nene looks a lot like me. Do you want him to stay up here? Okay. Anyway, we're going to have a good Thanksgiving despite of this. I hope my husband, like I said, can get this fixed. Um, I had all kinds of plans for a nice cook with me video to make the pumpkin pie, the apple pie, and another dessert. But, friends, you're just going to get a vlog. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. I do got some uh, some nice videos planned. Um, also some low carb. I've had a lot of you have asked me to do the low carb recipes. I'll incorporate it. I remember I did. I used to do a healthy eating series, so I will start that back up again. And it'll be low carb or low fat. You know, you never know what it's going to be, but it'll be something that most generally low carb. Also, I'm going to do some recipes because I eat a lot of the Mediterranean diet. Only because it's just so so darn good for you. You know, I eat a lot of that. So I'm going to incorporate a lot of those recipes as well. Um, 
Oh, let's see. What else is going on? Um, I got the baking powder video. I think you'll see that before you see this one. This will be the day after. You'll see this on Tuesday. And my baking powder is on Monday. Next week, I don't have any children. And I have to um, pick up my, except for pick up my granddaughters after school. That is, if the schools don't get closed down, the K through, through 8. I think they've closed down 9 through 12th grade in the state of Michigan has gone to virtual learning. Um, at least I believe until the 9th of December, I'm not sure. But anyway, next week we want to do, we want to start the holiday baking, you know, the cookies and the candies and stuff like that. I want to start doing that and doing some videos on that. Um, this was just a chit chat today, just to uh, let you know that my house is a mess, in a mess. My kitchen is upside down and I can't do anything right now. So the other good news I've got is... I might have told you in the video already, I've got another vehicle. I retired the Jeep. In fact, the Jeep is already sold. And, you know, when I sold it, I told them, um, well, my neighbor wants, wants it for her daughter. But I did tell, she knows, everything in that Jeep is practically brand new, but she knows the bug with it, and we think it's a bad cylinder. So I sold it with them knowing that because I would never, ever sell a vehicle and give somebody another headache. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep at night if I did that. I would rather junk that thing than sell it to somebody and not tell them, you may need to fix the cylinder, the ring may need to, the rings may need, you, you may need to put a whole new motor in it, I don't know. But everything else in it is brand new. And it still chugs a little bit. But anyway, my new vehicle I got, friends, it is absolutely beautiful. My, I told my son when I went and had my, my oil changed in my Jeep, because my son is a mechanic. Um, I told him, I says, I guess maybe I should start looking for another vehicle. Because we can't seem to fix the um, bug in the Jeep. And my son said, you know, somebody could fix that, Mom, but I don't want to mess with it. I just don't have time to, to tear that all apart and redo the, the ring or the cylinder or whatever it is because I'm not mechanically inclined at all. But anyway, he called me up the other day and he says, Mom, hurry up. Get up here. Get up here in Buckley. He says, I got a car for you to look at. He says, and I think you might want it. Well, my husband said, let's get a truck. And I thought, mm, I don't want to pay it. I've told you before, I don't want a payment. We are debt-free, finally. I want to enjoy a debt-free life for a while. Um, so I, I, I hurried up there, and here was this beautiful Buick Enclave. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Fully loaded, third row seating. Oh. And I thought, the first thing I thought was, wow, I can, I can take all my grandkids instead of saying, with my Jeep, my gosh, I'm going to have to pick these two up, drop them off, go get this one, just yeah. make, it was just a nightmare. I couldn't fit the three people in my Jeep beside myself. Well, this car's got third row seating, and it fits seven people. I can haul seven people, so I can haul all my grandkids. And I thought, oh, that alone is, is a plus. Well, it runs beautiful. Not a thing wrong with it. It's absolutely beautiful, except... The people who had it before took the radio out of it. And I don't know if they, you know, if it was their radio that was special or if it was the original to the car. I, I, can't, I can't imagine that they would take the original radio out to the car and leave, leave a big hole in it. But I've got a big hole in the dash where there was a radio. So I have to take it up to Best Buy and they're going to put a new radio in it for me. What you doing? Oh, you banged your head. Want to come in, Nana? Want to come see Nana? Want to come see Nana? Here. You want your cookies? Oh, you're just a muffin. You're just a muffin. There you go. Anyway, I bought the car. And here's the thing. The car was retailed, or it was valued. The Blue Book value was $7,500. It's a 2008. Um... I got it for $3,500 and no payment, $3,500 and no payment. The, the gentleman that my, my son takes care of all his vehicles on his car lot, um, 
he told me, he says, well, he says, that just came in today on a trade-in, and 35 is exactly what we gave for the trade-in. He said, so you've got your son's uh, a discount. He said, so it, it'll be a good car for you. So I, my husband said, what are you waiting for? Buy it, buy it. So I got it. It's sitting out here, and all we need is the radio, and we're not going to be able to get, oh, go see Papa. We're not going to be able to get that fixed until closer to the first of the year. Goodbye. So I'm excited now. I got that and it runs beautiful and it, it fits all my grandkids and no payment. So no payment. So that's nice. And you know, you take a little chunk like that out of your nest egg, you can build it up rather quick. Yeah, so I'll build that up. I'll build that back up and it'll be good. But the biggest thing is, is no payment. Um, so I'm happy, happy, happy. So relieved. And then the Jeep, I'm selling that. Normally that Jeep, if it didn't have that problem in it, I could probably get 3,000 out of the Jeep. But because of that problem, I'm just selling it for 1,000. And that'll recoup what, you know, I'll put that back in my little nest egg and it'll recoup some of what I took out. So it's good all the way around. Anyway, I think I need to go out and help my hubby. You need help? He's smiling. He won't talk. He won't talk on the camera. What are you using my towels for? Are you using it for under the sink? I gotta go. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, thanks for chatting with me. Sorry I couldn't give you more today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.